What's going on YouTube? It's Dab back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how I find projects super early on and kind of just giving you guys a quick rundown of my process of being able to be one of the first people to find these projects and share them. If that interests you guys, make sure to stick around to the end of the video. This will probably be a quicker video just because there's not a huge way that I do go about this. It's a pretty simple process. It's really just time, but otherwise let's get straight into the video. All right, so first things first, I'm just gonna say really quick, if you guys do not wanna take the time to try and find these projects early, you can drop a follow on my Twitter page and I do share projects very early on quite consistently. Uh, when I see that they do have some potential in them, I usually look into projects pretty deeply or as much as I possibly can. And then I will go about sharing them on my Twitter page. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to go follow me on Twitter at zero X underscore dab. But enough of that, let's get straight into how I go about this. So first thing would be having like a very filtered following count. So this is pretty much the main reason why I keep a low following count is just to be able to have it super filtered to where the things that are getting recommended to me or the things that are popping up on my timeline are very filtered to where it's not a bunch of trash popping up on my timeline and i'm usually seeing a lot of these projects very early because they're getting recommended to me or people that i am following are also there either following these projects or they like to post and then i'm able to look into those projects if i haven't seen it yet and then really be able to decide if that's a project that i like or not i'd say about once a week or once every two weeks i will cleanse out my following and i will go through my entire following list look through all the stuff that i do follow and if i don't find something useful anymore and there's really no point in me following the account anymore i'll just simply unfollow them and go back to uh, a more filtered follower account but the main part is really just spending a lot of time on twitter so i probably spend a few hours a day on twitter to be honest uh just scrolling looking for new projects and just trying to find uh something that i haven't seen yet so like usually I'll get recommended under the NFTs. Uh, the topic will pop up recommended to me. And like this right here, I was just scrolling for five, 10 seconds. And this is a brand new project already. Obviously, I don't know if it's good or not, uh, but I mean, that's just a quick example. And I'll just keep scrolling and I will see if there's anything else that really pops up on my radar. And if I like some of this stuff here, then I'll really dig into it. I'm gonna try and find uh, another project and see if I can show you guys like a live representation of what I mean. And once I get back to the part on my timeline where I've pretty much already seen most of these tweets, that's when I'll go ahead and go back up and I will simply just scroll all the way to the top, wait to see new tweets. So it'll say show new tweets. And then like this right here, getting recommended, brand new project, 114 followers. And it's pretty much just a rinse and repeat of that. And at some point, like you really just start to pick up and decide, okay, like this is a good project or not. And this is how I'm able to quickly judge projects if they're a good project or not. Um, just because uh, like I, I look into so many projects on the daily that I'm constantly just being like spoon fed information and looking at so many different projects every single day, you really start to get a grasp of like what is something that people will enjoy in this market or something that's just gonna like pass along and not get much attention on it but it really is just taking time and filtering out your follower count just being at the right place at the right time following the right people once you start to see other people being to projects early you can also follow them and that will also bring you along into projects very early and then you'll start to get recommended more projects a lot earlier and you can just continue to rinse and repeat that process every so often i do this probably multiple times a day and then uh that's when i usually will just filter through which ones are good which ones are bad and then i'll go about sharing them once i find them but all in all that's pretty much the main way i go about finding new projects early in the simplest way possible also if you guys would like you can go ahead and check out some of the people that i follow you can go ahead and follow these people as well and the people that i follow are i would recommend pretty good people to follow 
I just keep it super filtered. And if you kind of follow the same path, I'm not saying you need to go unfollow every single person right now and then just limit yourself to like a, a small amount of following but that's just my personal preference to be able to keep a super filtered timeline and to make sure that i'm getting the best information as fast as possible and kind of just filter out a lot of the trash instead of just following thousands of people and having like an endless timeline that i can't even really filter through it's definitely a struggle to be able to try and filter through a huge amount of following and that's about it for today's video it honestly isn't too difficult to be able to find these projects super early on. It's just taking the time out of your day to be able to look through the timeline and see things that catch your eye and you may not have heard of and then go ahead and look into them and then go ahead and make your decisions from there. Thank you for watching to the end of the video if you made it this far. I know this was a super quick video, but I did want to just put this out because I have had a couple requests of people asking how I'm able to find projects super early on and that's pretty much the way that I do it. There's multiple ways to go about it, but this is my preferred method and if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like down below, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for future uploads. Thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Peace out.